the second deaf superhero has made her debut. And of course, we're talking about Maya Lopez, aka Echo, who's getting her spin-off series after her debut in Hawkeye. A first look into the villain turned superhero, a crime boss uncle, the loss of her best friend and vengeance are all on the table for Maya, and just some of the things which have led her to where she is right now in her life. Recap Slowly but surely, we're getting into the thick of things in Phase 4 of the MCU. And as new movies and TV shows are getting released, we're steadily painting the big picture and what MCU plans with its Phase 4. With every new film and TV show, we're also getting many new characters introduced and many new storylines underway. That said, Disney Plus turned from a place of familiar faces to a place where several new heroes and villains are being put in the MCU, all of them taken straight from the comic book world. One of the new faces in the MCU is Maya Lopez, aka Echo, who made her first debut in the Hawkeye Disney Plus series, which, although focused on the escapades of Clint Barton and Kate Bishop, another new face in the franchise. It also introduced Maya Lopez, who was and will be played in her upcoming spin off series by Aliqua Cox. Knowing the fact that she's here and she's not messing around, we think it's the perfect time to dive a little bit deeper and see where her story will go moving forward. As for the character, she's a Native American, a deaf superhero who held the mantle of Ronin before Clint Barton, which the Hawkeye series explored a bit. She's an expert fighter and a very formidable combatant, which was showcased in the series as well. However, the one thing we're not quite sure about is what made her play the role of the villain, despite her being a soft antagonist in the end. The Echo series might also dive deeper into the fact that even though she has villainous origins, she's still very much turning onto the side of heroism. Release date There's no official release date as of right now, but the series is coming after being first rumored at the beginning of 2021, with the show officially confirmed to be in development with the announcement that came on Disney Plus Day on the 12th of November 2021. Thus, the only matter right now is to keep a track of the production schedule for the series. Recent rumors suggest that knowing the production has already started, we could see the Echo spin-off series as early as the first quarter of 2023, which is a huge thing to know which could turn out to be true as the filming of the Echo series will be preceding the one for Ironheart, which is scheduled to start in April 2022 and release around the same time in 2023. Marion Dayer was said to serve as the head writer of the series, and knowing her record so far being part of Better Call Saul, the act and dealing with idiots, we think that the TV show will be in good hands. Cast before we move on, we should mention that there might be a little tiny bit of spoiler material up ahead, so if you haven't watched the Hawkeye series and don't want it to be spoiled by us, the best we could do is warn you. And with that out of the way, let us continue. To start things off, Aliqua Cox will be returning to reprise her role as the titular character Echo, aka Maya Lopez, with Fra Free also keen on making his return as Maya's former friend and fellow tracksuit mafia member, Kazmierz Kazi. However, his situation is a little bit hard, so to speak, judging by him being killed by the hand of Echo. We'll dive deeper into the story of the series a little bit down the road. All we'll say right now to make things a little bit clearer is that the Echo series will be placed before and after the events of the Hawkeye series. So with that in mind, and the fact that Fra went on to talk to Radio Times about his situation and him wanting to come back and reprise his role, we might see him in half of the episodes of the series, before the tragic end of his character. Other members of the most notorious tracksuit mafia could also return. The first one that comes to mind is Zahn McLaren as William Lopez, who could be part of a flashback as Maya's father before him getting murdered, which brings us to the one who ordered the murder of him, Vincent de Onofrio's Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin. Maya's evil crime boss uncle, who we think is more than certain to be part of the series. He made a short but significant appearance just as the season's finale of the series, after being absent from the MCU since the cancellation of Daredevil, a series in which he was the one to beat. Many would argue about his return, but despite the final confrontation between him and Maya and the lack of confirmation regarding his fate in the future, we are here to say that the possibility for his return is quite big. After all, he has to have a lot more things to say now as part of the MCU, right? If nothing else comes to fruition, we're more than sure to see him in a flashback or two, mark our words. As a result of the highest possible return of Kingpin, we should also be expecting other comebacks from characters who have quite the connection with him, including the likes of Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, who is now part of the MCU thanks to Spider-Man No Way Home, Deborah Ann Wall as Karen Page, Eldon Hansen as Foggy Nelson, and last but not the least Fisk's wife Vanessa Mariana Fisk, with Ayla Zur returning for the role. 
The options for who other cast members might come to the series are endless, but we should be getting more and more confirmations about the cast members as the series progresses. Plot As we said before, the plot of the series will mainly focus on the events that will take place after the setting of the Hawkeye series, with a little bit of catching up to do from before the character of Echo was even introduced in the series, something in the form of a backstory. We think that the series will continue to deepen the relationship between Maya and Kingpin, her criminal connections, even if she's so keen on forging a new destiny, no one can escape their past, right? The final episode of the Hawkeye series saw Maya turn against the tracksuit mafia, losing her best friend Kazi in the process. Kingpin, wounded, was confronted by Echo, who pointed a gun at him, the one responsible for the death of the two most important people in her life, so she has a lot of anger built inside her for sure. And we don't see how all of this could end with Kingpin surviving. But we can never know, as we know that he's quite the talker. The camera in the scene panned upwards as we heard a shot ring out, and the sound of a body dropping down, which could mean many things. For example, did Maya kill the kingpin? Or someone else interfered, wounding Maya in the process? We'll never know for sure, that is, until a teaser for the series comes out. Whatever the case turns out to be, we'll be in for a lot of criminal drama moving forward, a certain chain of events potentially leading to Maya taking over the criminal empire at some point. On a related note, Tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the character, what are your pros and cons about her, and just what kind of criminal mastermind do you think she would go on to become? After seeing how her story evolved so far, but also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.